And this man behind me, it was taken away by police tonight after two people were found stabbed to death in their South Bay home. New tonight, the victim's friend tells 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco how they tried to help the man who is now in custody. Rachel. And Steve, police have been out here now for nearly seven hours. We have learned that the man taken into custody is related to the two people found dead inside this mobile home and that the victims often tried to help him. Angel Ochoa came home from work to find crime tape and police cars all over his neighborhood. I was actually very shocking. Shocking and sad. It's very tragic at the same time. I mean, uh, two uh, innocent individuals lost their lives. Police say the victims were each stabbed multiple times. Investigators say Raymond Chatterfield, a homeless man, was seen near the mobile home right before a neighbor found the bodies. I couldn't believe it. And then I started watching all the news feeds and everything else, and I still couldn't believe it. Glenn Laird lives across the street from the victims. He called police when he saw Chatterfield in the parking lot of this Jack in the Box about a mile away. No, actually, we're the ones that called the cops and followed him till they got him arrested. Laird says the 78 year old victim gave Chatterfield food and at one point let him live here. Police aren't releasing the victims' names, but property records show Chatterfield is related to them. Court records also show Chatterfield has a lengthy criminal past, including a complaint for elder abuse. A few years back, I guess he fell into drugs. He says Chatterfield also has a history of mental illness. He's still coming to terms with the fact that the woman who has lived across the street from him for nearly 20 years is gone. Kind of a loss for her. It's, you know, she was like a second mom.